We're out here today looking at the new 9RX 830 tractor that John Deere has brought out. It's pretty amazing to me that we're talking about a tractor rated as slightly more than 900 horsepower. The serviceability, maneuverability, and visibility out of this cab is pretty amazing. I never thought John Deere could make a better tractor. Every time they come out with a new series of tractor and they keep raising the mower, it appears to me that they did it again here. I can't wait to get inside this camp and try it out. All right, I'm excited to give this thing a try. Let's get in it. One quick thing that's a big deal to me, the serviceability of this tractor. I can blow out the air filter without climbing the ladder. It's ground level. I can put fuel in at ground level without climbing the ladder, without holding the fuel nozzle above my head, dripping diesel on me, getting it all, you know, you smell all day. This is a big deal to me because it's so much easier. Ground level. swivels so far to the right. The visibility out of this tractor. I've swiveled almost all the way around in this chair with the increased visibility that they've provided. And I look back, I can see the draw bar. It might not seem like something that's big or something that's in the marketing materials, but when you're trying to hook or unhook an implement and you happen to be by yourself and you can't see the draw bar, that's tough. And you're just kind of guessing, you know? You know, when you first look at it and you see how wide the hood is and you wonder what the visibility would be like out of the cab, but uh, it's great. And the quietness of the cab, the ride of the cab. Here we're sitting in a tractor with 900 horsepower. Whoever thought that that was possible? I just, I couldn't be more impressed today with what John Deere has rolled out here. here with John Deere looking at some of the new tractors they got coming to the market. This tractor is a lot different than what I'm used to. Uh, back home we run a lot of 8,000 series tractor, row crop tractors. This tractor of course has tracks. On top of that is 830 horse with a 900 plus, 900 plus horsepower peak uh, capacity. So you look at that and this new process that this tractor has and stuff like that going on in it. It's pretty amazing what this tractor is going to be able to do. Uh, pulling a 40 foot High speed disc right now, you know, running 12 to 14 miles per hour, kind of depending on what we're doing. And it's got the power, um, you know, it's sitting there just pretty much cruising down through here right now. And, you know, another neat thing is the integration that John Deere has going with all the different equipment it has. You can go to the true set through tillage and actually adjust the disc depth and stuff like that on the go to the front, the back of the disc, all kinds of things at your fingertips. So instead of having to stop, get out, work on something, just being able to make adjustments as we go through the field, whether we want to go a little deeper or a little shallower, depending on what we want to do. So for me, the, uh, the easeability of making those adjustments and the power that this tractor has, you know, the other big feature is the fuel tank. You know, if, if somebody needs a tractor like this, they've got a fuel tank built in on board that can go all day. In this application here, you go into the settings and you just go into the ISO setup, go into the tillage. You can sit here and lower the back gang on the disc. So we're letting the rear gang down. We went for three. 3.7 to 4.7, you know, five inches right now. So we're going five inches deep in the back game. We're about six inches deep in the front, but you know, it's just all at the control of your fingertip there. So that's about max depth on this application, about six inches deep. But just being able to make those adjustments on the go was a big deal, and, you know, not having to get out. So. Yeah, we're at max depth. We're running 12 miles per hour up and down some hills. So, you know, I can shift up right now. We're just gonna steadily just pick up speed. So. Even running at those type of depths, like I said, you can sit there and back it back off a of gear, lay it back out of the ground, and it'll just sit there and maintain 12 to 14 miles per hour. Or so, so this uh, it's all the real the power that it has for these type of applications. And, you know, where I'm located at, we don't have the hills like some areas of the country do, like Kelly does. But being able to have it if you need it, and not limit the size piece of equipment you have because of the hills for the 
the power for the hills that you need to be able to get the size piece of equipment you have and run the same speed up and down them. So utilize, get that ROI up on each application. Just a pure beast. I mean, it's, it, is, it is a beast in all aspects of what it can do from the hydraulic power that it has for running different attachments, you know, what they say, 150 plus gallons a minute. You know, that's, that's big numbers when you're looking at being able to do that and maintain high speed.